AOC went to Iowa to campaign with Bernie Sanders and gave what I think is a fantastic and powerful answer as to why she supports Bernie Sanders. Watch. One of the questions that we have is, that I've also often gotten is, why Bernie? Why have you endorsed Senator Sanders? Why Bernie? And for me, one of the reasons my why Bernie, I think everyone's why Bernie is a little different. Everyone's why Bernie is a little different because we all bring our personal stories here. We all have different life stories. For me, my why Bernie is because when I was born and my parents were expecting myself and my brother, they turned to Planned Parenthood in order to get prenatal services. And Bernie was fighting for me then. My why Bernie is because when I was a kid and my parents were struggling to be on health insurance, and my mom was cleaning houses, and my dad was trying to start a business. When my parents struggled with being able to have health insurance, let alone me, Bernie was fighting for them. Bernie was fighting for us. My why Bernie is because when I started reading the climate science and felt and saw that we almost acted in 1989, the year I was born, we almost acted, and we didn't. And now our seas are rising, our droughts are expanding, our crops are reducing in their nutrient density. When, when I started reading that, and I felt the profound betrayal of political, of the failure of political leadership then, and I look at what Bernie was doing, Bernie was fighting for us. <laughs> He fought for me when I didn't have health care as a waitress. He fought for me when I graduated with $20,000, over $20,000 in student debt. He fought for me when I wasn't making a living wage. And so my why, Bernie, is because since he has fought for me, I want to fight for him. I mean, what an incredible answer. I got goosebumps watching that. This is somebody who has you know, lived a life. She's, I guess, 30 now, 29, 30. And when she was born, Bernie Sanders was fighting for people like her. He was in Congress, or he was he was mayor, then he was in Congress, then he became a senator. He was fighting for people, like everyday people like AOC, fighting for higher wages, fighting uh, for health care, fighting for climate change uh, issues. I mean, there are videos of Bernie back in the late 80s and early 90s of him talking about climate change. They were discussing, I guess, the, the greenhouse effect at the time is how they were phrasing it, um, but discussing the, the global impact that'll have on the world if they don't act sooner. Bernie was discussing this back in the 80s and 90s. We face, as all people know, an ecological crisis in our time, whether it's acid rain, the destruction of the ozone layer, the greenhouse effect. One would think that the CBSs and the NBCs of the world will be doing prime time specials on these programs, having different scientists, talking about the issues, involving people in understanding what's going on in terms of our planet. They don't. The function of television is to make as much money as possible for the owners of the television station and for those people who advertise the 30 second ads on television. So I would say that we're not going to bring about serious political change in this country until we deal with the media, which more and more is being swallowed up by large conglomerates. Very important issue. I mean, when you have someone who is a leader like this, who was on these issues before they were popular, was fighting for many of these things before they were popular or even known, and nobody at the time was listening to him, people were just ignoring him completely. And you look back in history and you see that, that's leadership. Somebody who was fighting for you before anybody even knew these were issues. That's leadership. Who else? in this race has shown that. Who else in, in this race has this record? Nobody has this record. So when you have a record like this, a consistency like this, leadership like this, how can you just ignore this? I mean, this is why like, people maybe uh, find it funny that I cover Bernie a lot, but it, like to me, this is, it's so obvious that he should be the nominee, that I can't believe it isn't obvious to more people. If you actually 
have the information. If you if you understand who this man is and you look at the, the entire field, compare him to everybody else in the race, nobody else has his record. Nobody else has his leadership. Nobody else has his agenda. Nobody else has his movement. Bernie Sanders is the clear and obvious choice for the Democratic nomination. I, I don't even know what else to say anymore. I mean, if it isn't obvious to you, then I don't know what else is going to convince you. Watch old videos of him. Look at his agenda. Look at the movement he has built. No other candidate has even hit a million individual donors that Bernie hit two months ago, three months ago. He has the movement. He has the agenda. He will be the nominee and he will be the next president.